Hello everyone, at the JMO here. Welcome to my 2020 bullet journal walkthrough. I'm making this really as an excuse to learn how to edit video and there's a link to an accompanying blog post below. I've tried loads of different types of moleskin over the years and the one that I've settled on as my personal favorite is the moleskin A6 squared soft cover pocket journal. This is my front page. I always fill in the details here and the reward money. I actually left a notebook in a coffee shop in Soho a few years ago and I got a call the next day. I went in and paid the 40 pounds into the team's tip jar. It was an expensive mistake, but it was worth paying it because I got my notebook back. So here we have the key. I don't really use the traditional symbols. I just have the common ones that I use when I'm writing down notes. Important, key information, migrated tasks, and a symbol for an end of section. On this side, we have the index, which I'll fill in as we go along. It is a bit annoying that Moleskin don't number their pages like Leustrom do, so you have to hand number everything, but it's really not a big deal. So here's a traditional year planner for 2020. Because it's an A6 pocket journal, it's a bit tricky to figure out how to make everything fit with one character per square, but I planned it out in Google Sheets in about 10 minutes before I committed any pen or pencil to the page. Over the page here are my 2020 goals on the left, and on the right we begin the month logs. Again, as it's an A6 journal, there isn't that much room, but I have the whole month here over on the left hand side of the page and the name of the month on the right. The calendar runs down the middle of the page with the days of the week on the left and the date on the right hand side. Important activities in the morning go on the left and things in the afternoon get written in on the right. The month continues over the page with a bit of open space at the bottom for notes or important information like your hotel address or room number in case your phone has died in a foreign country. When the month ends I fold the page over like this so the current month showing is always the first page towards the front of the notebook. It just makes it a lot easier to find. So yeah, just carries on. And then we get to the future log for 2021. This usually gets used for wedding dates and music festivals, to be honest. Then there's six empty pages here. As part of my goals for 2020, I want to work on and release six things that I've poured time and energy into on top of my weekly podcast and blog, etc. Now we're in January and the start of the notebook proper. At the beginning of each month, I put the month name and the calendar in at the top here and then fold the page over to indicate that's where the notes start. Sometimes I use the inside page of this fold to track time and expenses if I'm billing clients for the month or whatever. Trust me though, the fold at the beginning of this month makes it so much easier to find things. I tend to fill my pocket journal with weekly lists of things to do and notes from meetings really. So as I fill up the notebook this month in January, then of course it will be February and I'll fold the page over and start the month anew. That's about it really, pretty minimal. I hope you like it and get some ideas, especially around the page folding because I find it really useful. This video isn't one of the wonderful AMSR type videos you get with people setting up their notebooks, etc. But, ah oh well. All there is left to do is to put the year on the spine and get it ready to start the new decade with its friends.